this is an area where experts do have different opinions, but, um, and this is not yet like a final position of open eyes. I think it'd be very reasonable for us to say in cases of uh, young people talking about suicide seriously, where we cannot get in touch with the parents, we do call authorities. Now, that would be a change because user privacy is really important. But oh, let's just say over, and children are always a separate category, but let's say over 18, in Canada, there's the MAIDS program, which is government sponsored. Many thousands of people uh, have died with government assistance in Canada. It's also legal in, in American states. Can you imagine a chat GTP that responds to questions about suicide with, hey, call Dr. Kevorkian because this is a valid option? Can you imagine a scenario in which you support suicide if it's legal? Um, I can imagine a world like, like one principle we have is that we respect different societies' laws. And I can imagine a world where if the law in a country is, hey, if someone is terminally ill, they need to be presented an option for this. We say like, here's the laws in your country, here's what you can do, here's why you really might not want to, here's if you, but here's the resources. Like this is not a place where, you know, kid having suicidal ideation because it's depressed, I think we can agree on like, that's one case terminally ill patient in a country where like that is the law, I can imagine saying like, hey, in this country, it'll behave this way. So chat GPT is not always against suicide is what you're saying. 